is very, it's very likely. No, no, he's gonna fuck you so much that all your teeth are fucking gonna fall out. <laughs> You're gonna be picking up your teeth and you're still fucking. Oh, my God, oh good lord! <laughs> Have some respect! Trying to get oh, good gosh darn it! Picking up an incisor over here for fuck's sake. Oh my god! Have some respect! What happened though? There's a fucking bug in here. What happened? <laughs> Florida. I'm so looking forward to the rest of this fucking wine. You can do it, shut up! You can do it! I'm so looking forward to the rest of this fucking wine. No! You can do it! You, you can, can do, do it! it. You can fucking do it. I will! No, no. Don't bring me another one. Man. Really want to. So, um, I'm fucking looking forward to drinking that whole fucking thing the next six hours. I'm going to be on stage. <laughs> um, but um, I don't know. Like I said, look, I'm just kind. Of, these are just my opinions. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. I'm not I'm just a comedian. These are my ideas. You know. I just think this is the first time where um, you know we've actually panicked as a world yeah. over a particular virus that has a 99.8% cure rate. <laughs> so, I mean, for some people, if it's just for some people, it's very fucking dangerous. For other people, they don't even fucking know they have it, and they have it, you know. And um, so, you know, I think they've always, they've been trying to do this to us for a long time, scare the shit out of us, different stuff. You guys live in Florida. You remember Zika? Everybody trying to scare us with Zika? Zika! Mosquitoes! <laughs> Boom! I'm not scared of fucking mosquitoes. Look, I just killed them right there. What else you got? Swine flu! Pigs! You know how scary pigs are? I'm not scared of that. I just had a bacon sandwich for breakfast. What about birds? Avian flu! No, I don't give a shit. Look at this. There's a bird right there. <laughs> now it's a dead bird. What else you got? H1N1. You know, letters. <laughs> Numbers. Together. <laughs> Scared of that? No, sorry. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> What'd you say? AIDS. AIDS? Okay, I'm scared of that. I'll give you that. <laughs> No, but listen. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. He had a perfect redwood from Florida. I get it, but look, if they want us, you know, look, if you want to send the vaccine, if you want. Want me to take it? Just do like with the ballot. Just send it to me in the mail. <laughs> I promise I'll take it. <laughs> I'll sign the fucking thing and send it back to you. <laughs> I promise. Send it to me in the mail. You trust me, don't you? <laughs> well, I think the election's finally going to be over in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Trump's gonna, he's gonna come back to Florida. He's gonna have to deal with that for a while. He's not gonna stay long. Trump when he comes back to Florida. He's gonna go right back. So maybe six weeks he'll stay there. He's gonna go right back to DC. And next to next to the White House, he's gonna build like another huge fucking White House. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real fucking White House. Here, fuck you. This is the real one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, this is just me here. I'm starting to think the press don't like him. <laughs> you know, that too? They treated uh, President Trump a little differently than uh, his um, counterpart, Joe Biden, in the debates a little bit. The questions are a little tougher for the president, I thought. Um, Mr. President, for healthcare policies, are you going to be able to still to maintain the prescription drug prices artificially remain that low and the government paying that, not pass it on to the consumer? And also, 
uh, part of the health care plans and the pre-existing conditions are not going to be covered and if people decide to change policies and if they do change policies uh, are they going to be uh, are they going to be penalized for changing their health care policy is that going to be happen? Are they going to change also same part of the first question immigration also we have 11.2 <laughs> million illegal immigrants in america if they were born here what's going to happen with those people with that program and also last part of the same first question the economy. <laughs> we have 98% uh, of Americans don't own any stock at all. What's going to happen with these people when the economy when it turns around? How is it going to affect? How are we going to make sure to improve these people's lives and go back to what they're used to? Okay, and uh, Mr. Vice President, question for you. Joe Biden, um, how many fingers do I got up? <laughs> uh, seven, eight, five. <laughs> I'd like to use a lifeline. Let them, oh, bear. Let them run for it. Let the Democrats take care of this shit for a while and see what the fuck happens. See how far they are. Let them do it. I'm all for it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't think it's going to be that crazy. I don't know. Maybe it fucking will. <laughs>